Hello, this is George and Candy from Bless Life, and we continue with our 30 days of gratefulness. And this is our fourth day, fourth day already, and it's one of my favorite ones because God blessed me so much with you. Yes, so and God blessed me with you. So we're grateful for each other. Yes, and and we're grateful to God for our marriage. And he preserved our marriage through a really rough time. Yes. And we do really need to do a video how we met. Yes. Because it's different. Because it's a miracle. Yeah, it's different. <laughs> it's very different. It's, it's I can, not your normal. I can tell you one thing. I, I pray for you for five years without knowing you, without having any idea which country you were from, where you were living. And I just prayed. And pray for you. I send angels to protect you constantly. And I didn't know you, but I um, I read in the Word of God how Abraham sent his or well, his uh, servant servant to find a wife for his son Isaac. And when I read that, I did the same thing. I said, God, I want you to choose my wife. And and I just prayed, and I just decided for God to, to be the one who picked my wife amongst every other woman. <coughs> and <clears throat> I waited five years, but we should tell them, you know, where, where, where was I? I was in prison. You know, this happened. I was um, in prison. I was serving a 25 year sentence in a federal penitentiary in the United States, I'm from Colombia. And so you can kind of guess what he was charged yes. with. Yes, what? From Colombia, <laughs> from Cali. What could he what have could done? He, in Miami, arrested in a, in a little plane. <laughs> yes, you're so right. Anyway. You're right. You're smart. You're but smart. he always says he prayed for me for five years, but I've been praying for my husband since I was like 16. So I prayed for him for like 15 years. Oh, uh-huh, yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh, so, um, and it was very, very painful, and we actually got married in prison, and and we had, how many years to wait? Well, you, waited, that out? you waited, you waited 12, 12 years? years. I waited 12 years for this guy, I always say I'm the Jacob of this story, yeah. and um, it was well worth it, we've been together seven, seven years. years, we're going to go on eight years, um, June. Wait. 08? Yeah. No, we've been together eight years. <coughs> eight years already? Eight years, because it's 2019. We've been together eight years. And we celebrated our eighth mm -hmm. anniversary in August. Well, I got out in 24. So yeah. seven. Oh, you got out in 20. Oh, okay. I was thinking from our wedding, so never mind. Yeah. But, um, I yeah, did, I did we got 20... out in 2012. So, yes, we've been together seven years in Colombia. Yeah. And it's been the best seven years of my life. Yeah. And God has just blessed us amazingly. And he's used those blessings <laughs> to bring other people to understand and to know who God is. And to, um, you know, um, come to God and give them hope, too. Yes, because with God, there's nothing impossible. Listen, I was a buried in prison. I did 23 and a half years in prison. And when I, I used to, you know, people had visits, children, everything. And I was like, how am I ever going to meet a woman? I mean, I'm going to get up old and, you know, I, it was so difficult. And I prayed. And I prayed to God. And, and God has is, been the biggest blessing I've received from God. It's like seeing God's hand physically doing something. that doesn't matter if you're in prison. doesn't matter if he showed me that there's nothing impossible he can do. Nothing at all. No. And since then, when I got out and all this, we came to this country. Uh, it's been amazing. I mean, we live a supernatural life. That's what we call blessed life. That's our, our, our brand. Mm -hmm. Because our life is... Our ministry. Our ministry. Our life is a blessed life. Our life is not natural. I mean, the, the things that happened to Candy and I are so amazing. As, as you said, our family members have been touched by seeing that. I mean, it's, nobody can deny it because God 
pick us from a situation that was dead. Mm-hmm. No hope. Mm-hmm. Even when you came, when you when we got married, Candy's family and friends they told her that she was crazy. Yeah. She married a person that is buried or buried in prison. He still have a long, long sentence from Colombia. What's what's the hope? Yeah. What's the future then? Yeah. With the natural mind, there's no there's hope. no future. And no future. <clears throat> It's, it's just, and when we got here to the Columbia, he came without any money, and I came, I was never good with money. Um, I've got every family member that knows me to vouch for that. So, um, we came here with a couple, I had a couple hundred dollars left over, that's all we had. Awesome. And we were living with his parents, and that was rough going too. And um, God gave me a I told him, you have to go out and get a job because I can't because I didn't, couldn't get my visa. And we didn't have the money to get my visa. And um, I ended up getting offered a job. They hired me originally with on like a temporary thing. And then I had to go and get my visa and everything. And they ended up giving us an apartment that was fully furnished. We were able to get, we've had three different cars now. Every time a bigger and better car. Um, in every in right now we live in the most gorgeous apartments in Colombia, in Cali, Colombia, in uh, the we are in the best, most primo apartments that exist in this city, and the name, right? in the neighborhood is called Ponce and all that, but that's not going to mean anything to yeah. them. But anyways, um, <clears throat> everything has been supernatural. Everything has been through God's grace. Our jobs. Even um, his job, my job, everything that we've gotten has all been from God and through his grace. And he's provided for us and taken care of us. And I'm so glad that we took that um, leap of faith and got married, even if it was in prison. And we definitely have to tell how we met. We have to tell about how we met, how we got married. We have to tell. I don't believe it. Our first year in Columbia, our second year in Columbia, all the miracles because God has just, and, and when we do share and like when we've gone to churches and preached and stuff, yeah. you, you know, it's, it's just everybody. amazing. It touches people and it gives people so much hope. Jorge always has mamas come up and say, my son is in prison and you give me hope, mm-hmm. you know, that he's going to be okay and that he can get saved and, you know, and different you know, things. And people and, need to see that God is alive today, here, now. Mm-hmm. People need to see that God wants to see you well. People need to hear and see that God does I mean, miracles. Mm-hmm. Really, there is no limitation. There's no limitation. People need to see and hear that. And that's why I always tell you that God chose us mm-hmm. for people to see that. Yeah. Because our situation, you can say my situation is difficult. And I will tell you, once you hear mine, you will say, wow, mine is not that bad. Our situation was one of the, almost like the, one of the worst. But for God, it's not, nothing is impossible. Nothing you know? is impossible. There's, there's, there's no difficult situation for God. It's just an, 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 a moment for God to shine. Yes, it, it, yes. It's, it's in God's sense, whatever situation you're going through is an opportunity for him. for him to say, let me show you what I can do. Let me so, show you. Yeah, let me show you. And, and so that's, that's what I like to say. Difficult situations, in, in God's perspective, it's an opportunity. It's just, let me see what I can do. Mm-hmm. And if we were able to see that and live like that, it would be so much different. And he's the best husband. He's so loving. He's so kind. He's good to my mm-hmm. sissies. He's good to my family. He's um, just a wonderful, wonderful husband. And, you know, and this is the thing. He's perfect for me. And even like this? yes, even bald like my daddy. <laughs> <laughs> See, I was even conditioned by a bald daddy to be able to love a baldy like you. Yes. So, you know, God just, you know, he matches you to the perfect person. And yes. if you're out there and you're waiting, I know that pain, I, especially for women. <clears throat> um, and I'm, I know that there are men that go through that too, that have that pain too, that, yeah. You know, am I ever going to find the right girl? And what's good. wrong with me? Why don't, you know, I like this girl, but she doesn't like me. I like, and it's the same way with, you know, women. And I know that pain and I know that hurt. And you think, you know, 
there's so many things that go through your mind and you're like, what's wrong with me? How come I can't find a decent guy? Um, am I ever going to find a decent guy? How come all my girlfriends? And I had a lot of anger because like I saved myself till I was almost 30 um, because I was waiting for God to send me my husband and I believed, you know, and, and everything. And then when my parents died, I kind of went crazy and got pissed off at God and said, you didn't send me a husband, so I'm just going to do what all my friends did. They all shacked up and got husbands. So <laughs> I tried it their way, and it didn't work either. <laughs> but um, but we want to I thank know, God for yeah, us. Yeah, but what I'm saying is for women, there's hope. You know, sometimes I don't know why God made me wait so long. I don't know why God made him wait so long. I don't know why sometimes people meet the perfect person when they're 20, and there's other people that don't meet the perfect person until they're in their 30s or 40s. And I have no idea. I have no idea why, you know, God's timing is so the, different for but everybody. But the, the important thing is to, in any, in any place you are right now in life, mm -hmm. wherever you are, the important thing is that uh, God is willing and God is able to take your prayer or your dream. In this case, if it is looking for the person that... That, 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 you, that you want God has that person God has the answer it is not too late it doesn't matter what you have gone through it doesn't matter all the mistakes you make sometimes you make mistakes yeah it doesn't matter how where you took yourself to like in my case I, I took myself to prison with the life sentence on this and there there God was able to do the impossible so uh, we want to thank God for each other. That's that's yes. number four, and and just and thank God for our marriage and preserving it and keeping yeah. it, and um, thank God for the beautiful witness that it is for Him. Yes. So, anyways, have a blessed life. We love you. Big hugs. You have a great day. Thumbs up if you like us. Blessings. Um, blessings. Um, hit the subscription button and or the notifications button. And Instagram. And don't forget our Instagrams. I'm Blessed Life Candy and, and he I is am. just underscore George 66. 66. Okay. So bye. bye. Have a great night.